How to set up a mechanical release aid for a hunting bow. My favorite type of release aid to hunt with is a wrist strap. Advantage being that it transfers the force of the bow to your upper arm when you draw, as opposed to holding something in your hand and putting a lot of tension in your hand and pressure in your hand. And when I teach people to shoot with this type of release aid, I typically teach them to find the anchor point, open all of their fingers, wrap their trigger finger around the trigger. The purpose of that is when you're like this, holding your release aid, as most people do, the trigger finger moves very far, a lot of motion there. If you open your fingers, this finger doesn't swing as far. This is to cure what we refer to as punching or slapping the trigger. You don't want to shoot a trigger like this. You want to use this finger as a fish hook through your wrist to your elbow. So this is the fish hook, the fishing line. We're going to set our hook from our elbow by pulling our elbow straight away from the target. Now the bowstring, when you shoot with fingers, you would have a bowstring with just one knocking point on it to use your fingers. For release aid, you always need at least two knocking points because there's a tremendous upwards pressure. When you hook up a release aid, your hand is below the arrow. You're pulling up the bowstring. So your proper setup is a rubber eliminator button underneath the arrow to cushion the release aid to the arrow. Two knock sets above the arrow to prevent the serving and the knock sets from plowing up the string under the pressure. Your other option to set up a bowstring shooter release aid is a rope loop. They're also made in metal. I strongly prefer to rope. The metal flies forward. If it hits your arm, it hurts and it can break servings. The rope loop is softer, locks onto the bowstring a little better, doesn't damage the serving, and your release aid is now going to hook up directly behind the arrow. Strategically, many people feel a better location for your release aid straight behind the arrow. And the rope loop, you can change it and your serving will last longer. It's a, basically a serving saver and just a good location to hook up your mechanical release aid. So that's the setup you would use to use a mechanical release aid with a rope loop. And when you draw, you would pull like this and trigger like so.